Federal High Court in Abuja has granted the request of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to freeze the accounts of 19 individuals and a public affairs company linked to the NSAS, hashtag NSAS protests. It was reviewed on Friday. The request, granted by Justice Ahmed Mohammed, was filed by the CBN on the 20th of October. Some of the affected individuals include Bolatito Rachel Oduala, Chima David, Ibe Bunjo, Mary Doze Pengwa, Sadat Temitope Bibi, Basi Victor Israel, Wisdom Busa Osowo Obi, Nicholas Ikalia Osazele, Ebere Idibie, Aketomide Lare Yusuf, Uhuo Ezenwanyi Promise, Musof Pe Fuluwa Odeseye, Others are Adegoke Pamilerin, Yusif, Umo Grace, Ekanem, Babatunde Victor Shegun, Mulu Luis Tegenan, Mary Oshifo Wora, Winifred Akwewe Ogene, Jacob, Victor Solomon, Idunu A. Williams, and Gatefield Nigeria Limited. The court order addressed to the heads, head offices of Access Bank, Fidelity Bank, First Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank, United Bank of Africa, and Zenith Bank directed the banks to freeze forthwith all transactions on the 20 accounts on the list annexed to the CBN's application as Exhibit A and all other bank accounts of the defendants slash respondents for a period of 180 days, pending the outcome of investigation and inquiry currently being conducted by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Gatefield Nigeria Limited had earlier sued Access Bank PLC for allegedly blocking an account used to promote media coverage of the hashtag and SARS protests. Every day, the NSAS protest seems to be assuming a rather interesting dimension since the occurrence of the Lekki massacre. A lot of events are unfolding which has further exposed the sorry state of Nigerian politics. With what is going on lately, many have started wondering if we are truly practicing democracy. Recently, Mo Odele, a lawyer who helped in securing the release of some detained protesters, had her passport seized at the airport. Up until now, the passport had not been returned. Although she confirmed they contacted her to come pick it up. When we thought we have seen it all, there were reported cases of frozen bank accounts of companies and individuals who were suspected to have a hand in the protests. Omoyale Showare took to his Twitter page to substantiate claims of individuals whose accounts were frozen by the CBN. While he tweeted, hashtag NSAS, 
see names of individuals and companies linked with hashtag NSAS whose accounts were frozen by smooth criminal Godwin Emefiele of the CBN of Nigeria. 50 other persons, mostly those on this list, are on Buhari's regime's hashtag no fly list. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. By taking this action, don't you think, you know, this is an invitation to anarchy? Don't you think this is an invitation to uh, another nationwide protest, as it were? Well, we keep our fingers crossed as we see how things continue to unfold. Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this, this particular news story, as it were. You are, in, you are inviting another protest nationwide, and you and your CBN will face it, and people will take care of you, says this particular opinion. Another person says, any person who tries to protest again should be ready to die. Adeshina says, many of many of them are collecting money from Enam the Kano to destroy Nigeria. They are all criminals. Well, are these opinions right or wrong? I don't think any of those guys would be wise enough to, you know, or would be foolish enough, as it were, to collect money from Enam the Kano. And many of these guys are business owners, people who are well-to-do, and all so many other things. All they are going through at this particular moment is they have been punished for, you know, their part for championing the cause against um, uh, against police brutality, for championing the cause of the hashtag NSAS to demand a better uh, government for Nigerians. But be that as it were, they can only be punished, but they cannot be intimidated, and they cannot be killed. The international organizations, or international, yes, international organizations are actually watching, and people will definitely fight for them. There will be twists, there will be turns, but you can rest assured that Nigerian youths are definitely going to speak up and react very soon, if status quo is continued to maintained. Well, it is what it is. Harapin says, don't get fooled. Again, strangers are ruling this country. Harapin says, government is preparing grounds for the worst in this country. They should know that when you take to a man who is in prison to the gallop, it will come to a point where he no longer has fear for death. Well, this is what it is. Another person says, see what this government is doing now, going after these guys when the heavy thieves, politicians who make the country to Maru are walking and lavishing the streets. Hope they are advised now to stop all they planned doing. Well, are we going to say that the case of Muhammad Buhari, uh, the government as it were, of the APC in Nigeria, is a case of he, he who the gods want to uh, kill, he first of all runs mad or something like that. There's a saying like that in the East or whatever. Because the steps that the government has taken is really, really uh, unfair. What investigation are they investigating? What investigation do they have to carry out? It is glaring that this is a transparent. Uh, the NSAS movement was transparent enough to a very large extent where people donated money freely. People helped those who were in need. People supplied food, money, resources, and all that to provide food feeding and water, then the uh, medical assistance and all other uh, facilities for Nigerian or Nigerian youth, as it were. So why is the Central Bank of Nigeria attacking these youth by freezing their uh, finances or their bank account for a whole six months. That is 180 days. This is really, really uh, wicked. This is tyranny, you know, in itself. 
we'll keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold but drop out the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the odd news thank you and bye for now